Welcome to this video on our series on common lab tests and lab interpretations for medicine. In this video, you're going to learn about the coagulation panel, commonly abbreviated as COAGS, what it measures, and key interpretations. Mm. As a med student, you're going to see this most likely ordered on internal medicine, surgery, and emergency medicine. Let's break it down. What is a coagulation panel? This will help us assess how well a patient's blood clots and is especially important if we're monitoring drug therapy like warfarin or heparin. There's some key tests that are included within the coagulation panel. First, we have the prothrombin time, or PT. This measures how fast blood clots via the extrinsic pathway. The activated partial thromboplastin time, or APTT, measures clotting via the intrinsic pathway. The international normalized ratio, or INR, is a standardized version of PT, mainly used for monitoring warfarin therapy. And when you take shorthand notes on your patients, you can diagram out the coags like this. Another component of the coagulation panel is fibrinogen. This is a key protein necessary for blood clot formation. In some hospitals, a coagulation panel might also include the platelet count for overall clotting ability, a D-dimer to check for clots like in DVT or PEs, the thrombin time, to assess for fibrinogen function or specific coagulation factor assays for diagnosing clotting disorders. All right, I don't know about you, but one of the hardest things when I learned this was differentiating between PT and PTT and how to remember that. So here's a quick learning tip for remembering that difference. Prothrombin time, or PT, equals extrinsic pathway. It measures mainly factor three, which is called tissue factor, and factor seven, and is used to monitor warfarin therapy. The activated partial thromboplastin time, or PTT, equals the intrinsic pathway. It measures factors 9 through 12 and is used to monitor heparin therapy. Here's an easy way to remember this. PT equals play tennis. Like playing tennis, you're outside, that's extrinsic. PTT, it means play table tennis. You play table tennis inside or outside, mostly inside. Another way that I like to remember this is PT from Sketchy is the paratrooper. Can you skydive inside? Technically, yes, but not really. So skydiving or PT or paratrooping is outside. Okay, let's go over what it means when these values are elevated. An elevated PT or INR could mean adequate warfarin effect or liver disease. Because warfarin impairs factor seven, this is going to prolong the clotting time. I expect this on my patients on warfarin, but if they're not on anticoagulation, an elevated INR could suggest to me liver disease or vitamin K deficiency. An elevated PTT could mean a heparin or a clotting factor deficiency. Heparin prolongs the PTT by blocking thrombin formation. If a patient isn't on heparin though, this elevated PTT could mean there's a deficiency in the intrinsic pathway, something like hemophilia. That's your quick breakdown of the coagulation panel. Now you know what's included, when to order it, and how to interpret the results. Check out the description for a blog on the 10 most common lab tests and other guides to help you on clinical rotation. If you found this helpful, hit the like button, subscribe for more medical education content, and drop a comment if you have any questions. See you in the next one.